And it's just one of many problems that we've been seeing. This week's weather has brought us many icy road conditions, and that threat continues with winter storm Iago. Meteorologist Eric Fisher has some weather-ready tips to help you navigate that slipping and sliding safely. You see it every winter. Unsuspecting drivers slipping and sliding uncontrollably on icy roads. When it's ice, it's just slick. So no matter whether you're driving a big truck or a little car, there is zero traction. Unfortunately, you can't always anticipate when you'll hit an icy path. But if the temperature drops below 32 degrees, there's a good chance you'll find some, including the ice you don't see. Somewhere around that mid-30 range, you can have black ice. That you can't see. You can only see a sheen on the roadway, and you need to be very aware and slow down. One of the biggest mistakes drivers make is to slam on the brakes when they hit ice, which can actually cause you to lose traction. So what you want to do is you want to keep your hands firmly on the steering wheel at 3 and 9, try to drive straight through the ice. If you do start to slip, you want to steer where you want to go and slowly add the power so that you can drive through the situation. And having the right tire can make a big difference, too. The tires are the most critical part because there's only four things that touch the ground, and that contact patch is what it's called really needs to have the best grip with the roadway. A basic rule of thumb is if it snows at least three times a year where you are and temperatures dip below 30 degrees, you probably need winter tires. And don't forget about that basic car maintenance as well. But when people don't take care of their cars, they don't run with snow tires, they're not worried about cleaning off all the snow off their car and they just have a porthole, it's extremely dangerous because the safety portion is you need to see and be seen. And that's not just in ice, that's in the snow and that's all year round. I'm meteorologist Eric Fisher, The Weather Channel. Yeah, I've seen people try to drive with just that little window cleared off, and then that whole sheet of snow comes off and hits the car behind them. That's trouble, too. But we're talking about black ice a lot uh, today into tonight because of a widespread threat. Here's how black ice happens. It starts off when you have precipitation falling, but kind of at that marginal temperature. Snow might hit the ground and melt at first, but once the temperatures drop at night, it will then refreeze on the ground, and it refreezes in a very thin, almost invisible layer. It looks black. Back from above, you can sometimes only see it because your headlights shine a little differently. Sometimes it looks more dull or it sheens back at you, and that can be a very dangerous situation, very slippery with that black ice.